Hey everyone, we just finished the live demo of Log Inside with Darla, but now we're actually with two people who brought the, the project to VMware and who started the project. So we're here with Spiros and John. John, can you explain a little bit about who you are and what you have to do with this new product? Sure. Um, yeah, so I'm the Chief Technology Officer for Log Insight. Uh, I also manage all engineering for it. Uh, I was also the, the person who kind of started it here uh, about a couple of years ago, uh, sort of put the business plan together and um, arranged for the acquisition of certain important people uh, to make it happen. So, and, uh, and I continue to manage the engineering team today. Okay, perfect. And Spiros, what, what's your role in, in Log Insight? I'm a director of R&D. I'm on the R&D side of uh, Log Insight Engineering. And uh, I was the CEO and co-founder of a company called Pattern Insight that developed the original technology that was, was acquired by VMware last year uh, in the project that John started in the city office. Okay, thanks very much. So VMware, Bot Log Insight, or Pattern Insight as we're called. Why is VMware diving into this space now? Yeah, so, well, you know, we, we kind of looked at sort of the evolution of the data center and the IT operations, and what we were seeing is there were a certain number of trends that we felt were leading to significant increase in complexity uh, in the data center, and per particularly from an IT operations perspective. Um, you know, don't really have time to go to all of them, but just three kind of mentioned, you know, we're seeing certainly sort of increasingly distributed architectures, uh, you know, larger and larger clusters, larger and larger scales, also seeing a lot more sort of levels of virtualization, a lot more layers in that network. Um, and the layers give you a lot of, you know, agility and flexibility and maintainability, but when you have challenges, you kind of want to connect those layers up again, right? Um, and that's where we saw logging really coming in as a, as, a, as a way to help you. If we were able to give our customers solutions to deal with much larger collections of logs, uh, essentially a big data solution, right, um, to IT operations around log data, that this would help counter, would give us sort of a step function increase in capabilities to combat what we were seeing was a step function increase in the complexity of the data center, uh, particularly from an operations perspective. Yeah, it sounds very logical to me. When I talk to customers, they always talk about how difficult it is to pinpoint a, an issue in their environment because of all the layers that are on top of each other. Um, Spiros, can you tell us a little bit more about why Log Insight is different to all the other solutions that are in the market already? Sure. So Log Insight is a technology that was built essentially more recently, right, in the last three years. And uh, we looked at all the existing solutions and we decided to, to bring a new kind of technology to the market built from the ground up for analytics, right, for big data analytics. So to that extent, you know, the, the, the size of the problem has been exploding the last few years in terms of data size, right? So we built this real-time analytics platform that is purpose-built, let's say, for uh, unstructured data and for analytics, so that we make it very, very fast for people to answer, let's say, complex questions in complex environments and do it very, very quickly, right? So we have this very powerful real-time, let's say, unstructured data platform that uh, it can ingest any type of unstructured data. But that's the one part. The other part, and what our customers are telling us already, is that uh, you know, because you are dealing with so much complexity in terms of data sizes and different systems, you need a user interface that will expose things in a very simple way to the user. So we rethought how the query building part of the of the of the product should work. So we built this very simple to use user interface, which you know guides you to answers and allows you to very very quickly and easily build queries that will reveal the let's say the truth in your data. So it's the combination of our very powerful platform with a very very simple and intuitive UI that actually makes our product I think better than what are the alternatives in the market today. With, I should add with excellent integration with the vSphere and the VMware ecosystem, right? So you know automated interactions with collecting logs from that, but also built in deep understanding of you know, what is really useful and interesting to look at inside the VMware logs themselves. Exactly, and I think you guys mentioned, and Darla mentioned it as well, you were doing a lot of announcements with partners. There's data packs coming out. Can you tell a little bit more about that? Absolutely, we're super excited about this. Um, you know, Spiros told you a bit about our, our fantastic platform that really helps you bring in huge amounts of data and you know explore and analyze that data. Um, but you know, not everybody. You know, it, it's hard to sometimes understand what is actually going to be useful in the logs of a particular disk array or a particular network switch. Um, 
And, and so we have brought to the table sort of detailed information about what's useful in VMware logs. Now our partners are recognizing the value of Log Insight and they are bringing their sort of content packs to the table. And so we saw a bunch of really exciting announcements from uh, a variety of vendors. Uh, probably getting in trouble for not remembering them all, but uh, you know, EMC uh, has produced content packs for VNX and VMAX. We saw NetApp, uh, um, Cisco, uh, Brocade, um, high trust. There's you know, and there's a few more there too that I'm sure I've forgotten. And there's more coming Puppet every day. Labs, VC, Puppet Labs, VC, and that only happened within a month from the day that the product was announced, right? So this is the first batch of essentially content packs we see from our partners, and we expect a lot more to cover the full infrastructure and the full stack uh, horizontally, vertically. I would say in the data center. Exactly, but I think it shows within a month you have this many partners um, throwing out their own intellectual property about how to best troubleshoot some issues in the environment. Um, this just shows that this is a hot topic in the market now for me. And um, there's probably lots of our customers that want to do a bit of testing with this. Is there something that you can do for these customers? Well, that's a great question. Um, so, let me show this here. First of all, of course, if you come by the uh, management booth, you'll be able to uh, get a free T-shirt, uh, big data, or uh, big data meet big insight. But you notice, follow uh, follow us on Twitter, and uh, there's an opportunity to get five free licenses for Log Insight if you're an attendee of VMworld, and, uh, and follow us on Twitter. Perfect, well that sounds good. Free t-shirts is always good, and free licenses is even better. So if you want more information and you want the free licenses, be sure to follow at VMLogInsight on Twitter, and just come by the booth if you want more information and you're here. Thanks for watching.